what you talking about, Willis? Welcome back to the second installment of what you talking about with me. I am Mr. Willis. Today, we're gonna be talking about something near and very dear to my heart. Somebody I really care about. Somebody who I wanna see progress. And I'm talking about none other than my boy Russell Westbrook. Is there such a gap in between people's talk of him getting the MVP or James Harden? Now, first of all, I love both of these guys. I, I love they both play for my team at the same time at one point with our own little big three that could have been a big three, but it still wound up like the little brothers of the league. You know what I'm saying? With Baca, Westbrook, KD, and James Harden. I love it. I loved every minute of it when they was playing together. But since they separated, both of their games have elevated. And especially Russell Westbrook in the past year when he's had to play by himself because KD decided he wanted to go jump ship and jump with the Golden State Warriors. What? Oh, punk ass. But James Harden has actually been evolving as well. And with the coaching of Mike D'Antoni and with him getting that big ass contract, he has evolved into a stellar player. A great, I mean, he's Hall of Fame caliber. They both Hall of Fame caliber. But the question is, why in a, in a season such as this, is everybody talking about how they so tight for the MVP? Now, I'm just let me just remind you that Russell Westbrook is about to average a triple double for the first time since Oscar Robinson was playing. Drop one of the cool bombs. And I'm gonna tell you like this, if you can't remember who the motherfucker was and what it looked like, that's a long time. I mean, that shit ain't been, that shit ain't happened for a very, very long time. So, I'm gonna tell you right now, that accomplishment in and of itself is enough to get this man the MVP. Let alone, he's the lone superstar on a team that had two of them motherfuckers. Ew, seriously? That is so gross. Russell Westbrook went from playing with KD to playing with Ain't nobody out there helping him. He out there doing it on his own. He out there rebounding, dribbling down the court. Gotta bring it up, gotta shoot it yourself, then gotta rebound. Your shot that you miss, and then come out, kick it out. Then somebody kick it right back to you, cause they scared to shoot. And then you shoot up a three, and then you miss that one, you gotta go back and get that one. It's, it's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work, and he does it. Because he ain't got no damn choice. Now let's not say that James Harden got it so much easier in Houston. He ain't got like the greatest pieces, but he got Ryan Anderson, he's got Lou Williams, he's got Trevor Ariza who was on a two-time Laker team that went to the finals and he was a big part of that team. So there are pieces in Houston. Ain't a whole lot of pieces when you talk about the Oklahoma City Thunder. And part of the problem is it's like, God damn, man, shit. We got rid of Ibaka. We ain't pick nobody up, man. Thunder need to pick somebody up. That's the problem. They, don't, they can't pick nobody up right now because ain't nobody trying to ain't nobody trying to sign no contract right now when you got the big TV deal in this offseason coming. So hopefully we might be able to pick somebody up. But for right now, that lineup sucks. The lineup sucks. And that's just what it is. If you can't name, if you can't name the starting lineup, you don't know. I don't even know who these motherfuckers was until this season. Abrinas, who the fuck is that? Oladipo, I knew who Oladipo was. Oladipo's good, but he ain't no damn superstar. Just because you can dunk, don't mean you're a superstar. A lot of people can dunk. Look at Harold Miner. That's right, who? But anyway, everybody's talking about it's a tie. It should be a co-MVP, no shit. Russell Westbrook deserves the MVP. And if you don't agree with that, I don't really give a shit. 
Anyway, that's my take on it. This is I am Mr. Willis. Follow me. The links are below. Yo, love y'all, man. Holla at y'all next time.